Hi there, today on this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the SRAM level brake set. Uh, so I've got a front and rear brake set here uh, to take a look at. Now, the level replaces what used to be the DB3 uh, from Avid, but uh, SRAM has gotten rid of the Avid name and has gone for level. So uh, the level brakes here are a cross country oriented brake. Uh, the level, uh, just without anything added to it, is their least expensive. So again, kind of like that DB3. Uh, but it uses the old Avid caliper. And uh, quite funnily, the, uh, the pad spacer here still says Avid on it. Uh, but it does have their new lever. Uh, so this lever itself no longer uses taper bore, uh, but it, it uses a traditional kind of piston. It does seem to be cast all out of one piece here, so you end up with this really chunky and, and kind of unsightly um, handlebar clamp. But overall, not too bad. It is a dot fluid brake, meaning that it will work in the cold in case you're, uh, say, running this on a fat bike or something of the sort. But because there is no swing link and the lever is connected directly to the piston inside, you do have a pretty firm brake lever feel Good modulation and overall this is definitely a nicer brake than the old Avids were. Well let's go ahead and see if we can't get this weight to find out what the front and the rear weigh. So this is the front brake with the shorter uh, housing or hose rather. So you're looking at 336 grams and then the rear which is going to have a much longer hose runs 349 grams. So overall, uh, they are definitely not on the lighter end of the spectrum, uh, but it is a good brake, it is affordable, and they do work well and are considerably more reliable than the old Avid brakes that they replace. Thanks for watching this James the Bike Guy. To subscribe for more, go ahead and give a click to the scale in the center, and remember, to like the videos and comment below to let me know what you think.